So in this video, we're going to look at how to find distance traveled from a velocity or speed time graph. Now, people often remember the equation that distance traveled equals speed times time. Now, the problem is that we can't use this equation directly if we are in a section like this where the speed is changing. So instead, we have to use the idea of the area under the curve to find, or the line to find the distance traveled. So the distance traveled is given by the area <coughs> under the velocity or speed time graph. So if we consider this first four seconds here, then we need to find the area of this. And since it's a triangle, we would need to do a half base times height, which would give us a half times four, as the base is four, times a height of 10, <coughs> which would give us a half times four times 10, which would give us 20 meters traveled. If we had incorrectly just done the final speed times the final time, that would imply 40 meters have been traveled. And we can sort of understand why that would be wrong, because it's only traveling at 10 meters per second right at the end, so it must have traveled less distance than 40 meters and the distance it's travelled works out as 20. If we wanted to work out the distance travelled in the next four seconds, then we'd be trying to find the area of this rectangle here. So the distance travelled in that, in the uh, between four and eight seconds, would be, because that's a rank, angle we would just do one side multiplied by the other which would be this side which if you notice goes from four to eight so it's four long so we'll do four times <coughs> the height which is 10 which would give us four times 10 which would give us 40 meters and so total distance travelled in those first eight seconds would be 20 plus 40, which would give you 60 metres. <clears throat>